All right, hello everybody. Sorry about that. The game crashed. Don't know why. Um, we're back to all of this part, but we're gonna we're gonna talk to Kasumi. See what uh what's going on. We're probably gonna go for maybe a half hour. Um, yeah, half hour seems good. Um, just you know, just in case the game crashes again, I don't want to go for too long because then we're just gonna lose a lot of progress again. But we're gonna see what's happening with Kasumi. What up? Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They. They did what? You came all this way for me. Yeah. Look, my mom and dad. I, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. Because you're not really their daughter. You're a sin. Yeah. Exactly. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> you're not a replacement. You haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. Look, I get it. They hired you to bring their daughter back. And I wish I could. I really do. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on than just the refuge. I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running for long enough. Okay. If something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things, track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. Right. I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay. Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them, and, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there, and that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but security on it is crazy okay um i'll hack the, the terminal i guess to nothing about hacking i'm really confident that's my best option if you're sure good luck once you have something let me know uncover dima's secret optional talk to dima optional gain access optional hack faraday's terminal okay uh, well, that's gonna be a little difficult to hack, because, you know, considering I have to fucking hack a terminal without being caught. Uh, we'll try it, though. Why not? Let's see what they're talking about.
We need to accomplish this without bloodshed. Far Harbor and the Children of Adam have a right to exist on this island, the same as us. They're going to kill each other, Dima. There's no stopping it. We need to pick a side now. Haven't we already picked a side? Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act. We couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog. Just like you couldn't just leave the Cult of Adam without a home? Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The Nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac, and he's going to keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, can we talk about the elephant in the room? We keep dancing around it. My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight. But at the time, it was an act of trust. I was honestly more worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security and get hurt. Giving the children my old home, allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. <sighs> Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have? And what's in them? I've gone over this before, Chase. I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have, but I've run some projections of worst case scenarios. If we do nothing and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands... So send me over there. I'll be in and out in a day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment, Chase. But yes, we've been writing a program that will let you access and download my memories. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice. Well, damn. Ada's just <laughs> there. <laughs> All right, obtain Faraday's program. Talk to Dima. Didn't I have to hack? It didn't tell me, or did, it doesn't say it anymore. Um, help Chase. Help Faraday. Help the sense. Okay. Is this the terminal? It is. It's massive. Me. Fuck. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to pack that anyway. Alright, we gotta go up. So, over here. Up again. And then I want to talk to Dima real quick. Dima. Yes. What is it? Uh, your memories. I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. 
Bet you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you, you're new to the island. I'm listening. All right. I'm listening. Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me? About Far Harbor, the children of Adam, or my memories? I know all I need. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the children of Adam. Gain access to their base in the old command center. Guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. Actually, I already have the program. I was thorough. Well, I guess that just means I've picked the right person for the job. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. Okay. So don't punch him in the face. Got it. That's not Kasumi. Kasumi's down here. Turns out, Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. Oh, she gave me money. Sweet. I wasn't even expecting that. Yay, I leveled up again. Let's do this, though, because the persuasion is probably going to help a bit. Alright, let's do this. Since we're here. Alright, let's talk to Chase first. <clears throat> you track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. I, to I just want to make sure she's safe. she's safe. You have my word. Acadia is a safe haven for Sins. Were it not, 
I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you find them? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. I'm gonna help. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. I'm listening. All right, I'm listening. We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. I'll find out what I can. You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, Tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Okay. Well, let's go help. Now we can just fast travel. Oh, let me. There we go. I'm gonna say, let me mark it on the map. Or mark it in the data so I can go and know which guy is Brooks, like who I gotta talk to. Alright, what up, Brooke? Children of I need to talk to you about our missing synth. Yeah. That. Well, it's not something I talk about with outsiders. So you can either buy something or move along. I'm working with Chase. She told me that your designation is L-792. Okay, I believe you. Keep it down, alright? It's real private information. I don't know the synth you're talking about. He's a younger guy. Maybe early 20s with white hair. Goes by the name Derek. Thing is... He showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Thought a courser was on his tail, so he rushed the timetable. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. He was scared shitless, looking over his shoulder every five minutes and attracting unwanted attention. Tried to calm him down, but he panicked and ran off into the fog. That was the last I saw of him. Okay. Relax. I'll take care of this. Sorry. My nerves are a little shot right now. Look, if you're really going after that synth, Pretty sure you took the road south out of town. Maybe you could head that way. Just be careful out there. And thanks. There aren't many who'd go out in the fog to help a synth, especially one they don't even know. I feel like shit about what happened. I really do. I hope you can make it right. No problem. I'm kind of curious. Before I go there, what the hell is the symbol on the map that I'm missing? You know, I've had this tussle of synths on this island.
What is this? Oh, it's Longfellow. Okay. Alright, um, find the missing scent. Alright, let's go to here. <clears throat> Let me go from there. Take out the power fist, just in case. Hmm, there's a trail of blood. Sins can bleed? I didn't know that. Unless it's not his blood. Fresh meat crawling in from the fog. Don't care if it's my lurk or man. Um, okay. I'm I don't want any trouble. trouble. I just need to find someone. A young man with white hair. You help me, I'll leave. You won't leave. Ever. Okay, shit. I'm sorry for trying to be nice. Missing sense head. Nice. What did they do with the body? Jesus, those guys are crazy. Howdy, howdy. The missing synth was jumped by cannibal trappers. He didn't survive. That poor bastard. That synth came here to live in peace, and we failed him in the worst way possible. It's my fault. I should have gone out there to meet him. Damn it all. I'm glad we were able to bring some closure to the matter. You deserve this. And shall we say 200 caps? I'm okay with that. I'm sorry things didn't turn out better. I wish they had. You and I both. Thanks again for your help. Be safe out there. Hitman's boosted agitated improved automatic institute pistol. God damn, that's a long name. Completed the arrival. Okay. Uh alright. I'm gonna pause the stream here. I'm gonna end be ending it. I know I said you know, 
little bit of the first one because it crashed, then like a little bit of this one. But I did say for this one, because it crashed, I'm only going for a half hour. Um, but I do want to thank you all so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed um, the series up until now, um, I do apologize again about the long break that was between. But if you guys have enjoyed, please make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. And if you find yourself coming back to the channel, you guys aren't subscribed, why not? Consider it, you know, to help grow the channel and to help me be able to put out more content for you guys. Uh, make sure to turn on notifications for both Twitch and YouTube because they like to not alert people a lot of the time. Um, so if you guys want to stay caught up, you know, with whenever we go live, whenever we post, um, it's always, you know, it's always helpful with notifications on. You'll get, uh, I believe it's like an email or whatever from YouTube. But yeah, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you all hopefully this Monday for a brand new episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Have a good one, everyone.